is to say that um, um, I have no competence to discuss what I found inside. Um, safe to say that um, in our collaborative ways, we also have a part to play to try and kill the spread from source. As you can see, this is the treatment center, so only my colleague from the Ministry of Health is competent enough to, to disclose what's going on inside here. We did witness uh, a few um, things inside there that I'm not permitted to discuss, but safe to say that the situation uh, looks uh, contained, um, and uh, the staff here are doing everything possible to save the lives of the patients that are being brought in here. And I must say they're doing a commendable job. And uh, the detail of uh, what's going on in there, as I said, that can only be transmitted by the line minister of health. Our job now is really to go back to the community as local government to heighten the sensitization of um, how people must change their style of living in order to circumvent further transmission of, of uh, this uh, cholera pandemic. And uh, maybe using this platform is to say that um, from our end, we will be communicating the measures that we are going to take uh, in public places to strengthen the, the, the position of uh, arresting the spread of uh, the cholera. And this may mean uh, having to temporarily close um, certain activities um, that we suspect may lead to the exacerbation of the cholera epidemic. And that will be communicated after we sit down with the line ministry and see how we can best get around it. It is also important to state that what we found here is that there has also been recurrence of the people who are discharged and they come back, um, which means that back home, where the source is, there is a problem. We need to urgently attend to, to the problem by saying to our citizens that try to keep distances, try to keep disinfecting, especially the hands, try not to touch your mouth, try the basic things that are recommended in order for us to remain safe. But I must say that the staff here are doing a temporary job uh, to try and uh, save lives. Right, I know what an appropriate Health has already pronounced herself to the fact that uh, we need a whole sector involvement, including the military, including the police, including the country, including the private citizens. This is a fight that we must all get involved in. And uh, what it means is that uh, we do not need people in uniform that can remind us of what we need to do, what we need to do. Uh, especially in terms of the disposal of solid waste, because this is where it is uh, hosted uh, uh, this color. I think citizens must look after citizens. Find the citizen who be careless when they have to say, hey, stop here, if that may happen, it's not supposed to be there. And we are promoting, we are campaigning for people to dispose in the designated disposal area so that it's easy to actually mop up the dead and take the waste. How many communities are you? In Because that's where there's a cleaning exercise that is going on.